Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. It's Tuesday, 9 a.m. Eastern time, 30 minutes to go until the opening bell. Hope everyone had a great holiday week. If you were off on Monday, coming back to the markets and surprise, surprise, we got a negative market. We haven't had that for a while to start things off. Right now, Dow futures negative by 62, trading at 29,217. You have the S&P negative by 10, trading at 33.14. NASDAQ futures negative by 31 points, trading at 91.43. I'm going to start things off with the chart of the VIX. Actually got a spike for the first time in a while in the VIX. Back above 13 briefly overnight. We're now under with a 12 handle, 1295 in that volatility index. Jumping over to the charts, we'll start things off with the Dow. Oh, the Dow, it's not cooperating, is it? That's all right. The Dow, we'll get back to that. S&P 500, you see the drop off last night at about 8 p.m. The futures trade from 33.23. We reach a low in the S&P of about 33.09. We get under that number at about 3.30 a.m. of 33.07, and we've caught a little bit of a bid over the last five, five and a half hours, currently trading at 33.14. There's your NASDAQ 100, currently trading at 91.42. Crude oil trading a bit low overnight, $58.03, the price of crude. You see where the futures opened Sunday night. We actually almost made it up to $60, $59.64. But since then, the markets closed on Monday, but futures were open. We had crude trading lower for the entirety of that time. Gold contract currently trading at $15.52. We actually got a spike last night in gold up to $15.68. And the euro US dollar catching a little bit of a bid over the last five hours or so. Euro trading 11112. In terms of what else you have happening in the market, Hong Kong, quite a number for Hong Kong as they fall more than 2%. They get a downgrade from Moody's. You also have the coronavirus going on in China right now. That death toll, unfortunately, we'll pull the headline up here. Six people now dead, 300 cases. That's spreading some fear over to Asia markets as they're all lower for last night's trading. But Hong Kong markets, my goodness, down 2.8%, I believe, with the number as they get a rating cut from Moody's as they continue to struggle with production on their GDP. The IMF said Monday, global economic outlook remains sluggish, trimmed its growth forecast 2.9 and 3.3% respectively. What else we have? Netflix on tap for their earnings today after the bell. Netflix looking to open basically flat so far. The one day expected move on Netflix, I covered it in the morning market kickoff, $23. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned, folks. Larry Pesavento coming up live right now. I'll be back at 10 o'clock. We'll be right back, folks.